Families across the country are finding new ways to connect and pass the time during these stay at home orders with a popular option being puzzles. Chris Connie shows us how they're helping many manage the pressure of the pandemic. More often than not, it seems as though time has little meaning right now. Nothing is as it should be. Yet in the midst of an epidemic, David Lashinsky has never been busier. There was no time for self-reflection, you know, or reflection about the business. It was simply uh, standing in front of the fire hose. Stepping into the basement of Eureka Puzzles in Brookline, Massachusetts is like stepping back in time. We're working as hard and as fast as we can. As the owner of a puzzle store, this 65 year old never imagined he'd need a delivery driver to keep up with orders. But like a wing joint the day of the Super Bowl, his merchandise is hot. Our web traffic has just gone through the roof. When the country locked down, Americans rediscovered their love of puzzles, essentially overnight. David had to transform this 850 square foot storefront into a makeshift Amazon factory. Jigsaw puzzles in and of themselves before any of this had a real appeal to folks that were spending time with each other. And while putting a puzzle together might be fun, having a challenge to focus on during these times is actually good for your mental health. I'm looking for a piece to go here. Now a lot of people in families are spending a lot of enforced time together and we need to learn how to manage that. A psychologist at Vanderbilt University and jigsaw enthusiast himself, Craig Smith sees puzzles as filling a crucial void right now. It is that notion of control and understanding and knowing that there's a solution because there are so many question marks in all our lives right now. And it's not just puzzle stores. Some puzzle manufacturers have a shortage of supply right now. It's insane. In the past month or so, it has just exploded. Jason Schneider works for Seco. They make some of the most popular puzzles on the market. Sales are up 300 percent. Coast to coast, this age-old hobby has found new life. Families everywhere seem to be rediscovering the puzzle. It's humbling to know that this is that we've got a product that people really want and people need at a time of crisis. When our lives are falling apart in so many ways, puzzles seem to be offering certainty and simplicity. It's definite. You know it will go together. You know that the pieces will fit. Life isn't always as cut and dried that way. Maybe piecing ourselves back together after all of this won't be as hard as we think. Oh, I know where this goes. In Boston, I'm Chris Conti reporting.